Hello class. Okay, so as usual for tutorial, I see you are doing it already. So uh, answer the questions according to your name and we'll do this discussion after you finish all answering all. Thank you.
Cannot access card now. Hold on. Can't access. Oops. Cannot. Cannot open. Sorry. Uh, just like this, got it. I'm not available. I just got it. Hold on. Then let, let me check. Noel, you do B first. Give an example of the UI that designed that way with the data consistency. You try it. I think this one can proceed first. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, the second line, the, the second link. Try if you can access it. Oh. It is against using the first consistency. Can access. Can you click, Mother? Uh, one, but only hmm? 10 page. 116164. One, one, one one six four is there. One one six. Ada. Yeah, ten pages. So the form, the first page, oh. you see, ah, uh, 
The first page is 1164. And then until 16. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Miss. Okay. How do you explain the good and bad things? Uh? Mm. So it's actually the pros and cons. The pros and cons of the Snyderman at Golden Rose. Try to find in try to find the pros and cons. Good things and bad things is referring to the pros and cons. Okay. So maybe you can Google the keyword, um, the pro and cons of Snyderman at Golden Rose. You try first. Okay, Alvin. Okay.
tell me if you have difficulties answering the question to A, you can proceed to, to B first. Okay? Leave the to A. Or you can, because the to B, you just need to give your opinion based on the question. Yeah? Thank you. Uh, miss? Yes, sir. Um, the question B mm. um, explain says to explain the guideline, right? Mm. Does it mean the um, the rules of strive for consistency or, or uh, this guideline? The only the, the one only for this strive for consistency. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, only for the strive for consistency and use use your on product to to explain oh like my mm -hmm. own product for example uh. your is your hi assignment so you ah, okay. Okay. okay you give example like um the, the format the terminology the shortcut okay, so you ex explain you just give example uh, how how you apply consistency in your system okay okay
Go ahead. Uh, yeah. Um, you put in the one of the business and where would be. So um I believe in the ethical there are three types of consistencies listed there. So you find you just uh, take one violation one example. Mm -hmm. oh. Do you do you see do you did you read about anything about keyboard? Sorry, I didn't read the ethical action. Did did you see anything about keyboard? Keyboard. Let me search. Are you looking at the screen now? Uh, yeah. One, one, six, six. So you, you get this, uh, the idea of uh, this one, the keyboard. Okay, we will talk about keyboard. This, because too, too many, right? And so I believe you don't know which one to take. So I give you the hint, you talk about support. Okay? Oh, okay. Right.
Noel? Oh, uh, you cannot think of anything. Uh, I just use the keyboard. Okay. But you you um you give you give specific specific key lang. Can can okay. Okay. All right. So now we can start discussion discussing the answer. Okay. So we have uh, three questions as usual. So everyone has uh, contributed your answer. So here the first question. The first question could uh, start for consistency. So we have eight golden rules. One of it is strive for consistency so we want to go for consistency in our design so explain what this strive for consistency for so for uh, according to Steinemann, we want to have an identical terminology in our system okay so we want to make it design similar situation and sequence of action okay but this is in other words in other words, you want to have a sequence of action for similar situation. So when standardizing the way information is um, portrayed or being conveyed, it will ensure that users are able to apply knowledge from one group to another. So, yeah. so this consistency it uh, will help the user to become more familiar with your system. Right. As, as, uh, especially for uh, uh, the digital landscape of your system. So they can achieve the goals when they give goals more efficiently and easily. So thank you, Farah, for your answer. And then the next one, um, for for Farah's uh, system with the car park parking finder. So he, how he explaining here the, the things that he want to apply uh, to his system according to 
the consistency, structural consistency. So a simple appearance, okay? Simple appearance and design must be consistent. So this one is still like it's still like um from the Wakata, like you have not gone, you have not go to the details yet. Uh, yeah the first the first part is general I think I can see on like I think just now you mentioned our oh, DC I must do the interface okay. so this is just just your idea right um so so you 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 give an example here of a button of a button so uh, maybe in your system you can it can be blue it can be uh, yeah. button can be blue and cancel can be red button can be blue uh, and then if it's for cancel uh, the button is red start with the name make on color any like color text point Text font does not contain cursive style, means it's uh, you want to make it like readable, right? And then, um, okay, so here I can I, I just can see this part where you uh, you talk about your system, okay? So maybe other things is that like uh, date format, okay, date format like. For your system because you use ka, ka packing right so like in first page your date formatting is day month year in the next page you also need, need, need to use the same format that that uh, day month year okay so that's that for one and then shortcut key um, and button sequence the error message okay, error message also like you pop up a message right so you need to have uh, maybe you want to have a uh, same size of every pop-up that uh, came out from your system and the dialogue dialogue location on screen as well okay so those are things that you can take into consideration i right? just add on here um, the format the and the, the um location of location of your dialogue okay, or or your pop up your error message right this thing that we can we can use to explain the answer for this question okay, so thank you once again Vera for sharing your answer. Kelvin, so the, the good things and bad things are here, it really is talking about the pros and cons. So very good good guide for every design to prevent confusion and allow software developer to easily judge the quality of your design. Okay, so it's a good uh, starting point, I will say. It's a good guide a good starting point for a UI designer to uh, start to start designing and it can be used to um, evaluate okay uh, at the words for is in touch to quality is uh, to evaluate the completed UI because you're referring back to the rules right so uh, I believe this is the cons and uh, presently does not follow the risk Mm. So here, this one is too general. Okay, too general. Um, it's too general to me. Okay, but it's uh, I can accept it. But it's too general. Maybe you can talk about like things like this. Rules is actually does not tell you how re how do you re how do you uh what is the step for you to do the design? Like you need to. You need to uh, it doesn't give you any concrete design rules right no concrete design rules. yeah that tell us yeah. hmm? 
That count as bad things, eh? hmm? I thought. Is that that count as bad things? Uh this one? The top? Uh, yeah, the rules. This one uh, good guy. This one is the No no, I mean the, the no concrete design rule. Is that oh, count? Uh yeah, no concrete design rules. No concrete design rules because belum uh, not finished yet. No concrete design rules. Did you put it in here? Ah uh, no. It's okay, it's okay. No concrete design rules because this one is referring to you are not told like you are not told um like example like um screen screen title should be displayed where right and then the button design how you should uh, design a button so that it can is categorized as good quality okay uh, why is uh, why is this uh, why is this uh, like it's a cons because the the app golden rose is actually very like it's too general so it always depends on to the user's environment and task right so some sometimes so in some in some situation some of the rules might not apply to your system right so uh you want you like if you like follow this uh at golden rules like you really want to follow this if you really want to follow all the at golden rules maybe it's not maybe sometimes it's not possible because some of the rules is not like it's not meant for your system so that's why um it because the your ui design is interpreted based on your user's environment and task right based on your personal as well so it's it, i would say uh this golden rules is, is just a basic basic guide for you to get started okay for no concrete design no no apa other words for this no what's other word for this uh, no 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 fix no fix design rule something like that no fix design rules like screen type displacement of your screen title right so you do you are, you are not told about all this so we still need go to go back to your user and see what are their what look at their environment and look at look back at your analysis and see how how you um create your ui okay so that's for question 2a okay that can be got it okay so the second question b yes it's useful okay, even though we have like the pros and cons um, it can provide developers with a good direction. It will help developer to like to focus on designing on the UI based on this basic rule that is provided. Okay, provide developer with a good direction. Okay, and then save a lot of time creating their own. The own design and then this one don't have that eh? when creating their own design and help the data and will help them save a lot of time save a lot of time okay so this one is like it's uh just for your opinion so there's no right or wrong okay so you can justify it as well. Yes, thank you once again, Kelvin, for your answer. And then you will. Um, okay, so in the article, you can actually find three types of consistency. You have the internal consistency, um, referring to consistency within a program. And then we have another external consistency. So this one is consistency with other similar programs or con conventions. And the third one is correspondence of interface to familiar features outside of the computer computing world. Okay, for well, example, like using metaphor or analogy to an object, uh, attributes or relation. So here, um, 
example is like the well this here is the numeric keypad okay numeric keypad so that's on our experience right based on our experience we memorize the mathematical operation in linear order right so usually we will think of plus minus multiply divide okay so this pattern is consistent in every in our minds but this pattern however allows users to be prone to errors so in reality um most frequently struck keys are enter plus n0 enter plus n0 so therefore the, the, these three keys will be much bigger compared to other keys to maximize hand movement among users this one is um i think uh, you change your answer yeah because i look at my keyboard to see yeah. what's the answer yeah Okay, um, just now I think I see your answer correct for me. Like, but still, it's, it's not it's not wrong. But my term, like, just now I I check then like okay already okay got it. Just the line to any I didn't check again. Um, okay. So even though like, uh, we have this pattern of uh this numeric keypad. Um. I don't know, yeah. the pattern, yeah, the pattern, uh, but this pattern sometimes uh, can allow us to do errors in real life when we use the keyboard. Okay, so um, for our keyboard, um, the, the most frequently used keys are this enter plus N0. So that's why um, we usually have these uh, three, three keys. It's much bigger than the rest. Okay, so... Um, this one is like more, more like explanation of uh, a keyboard's characteristic, right? So, this one. So, actually, you need to explain about um, how the numeric uh, letters is being uh, presented in on your keyboard and how it gives error to the user. How the error, how you explain this one now. The errors when you have this okay so another, another another thing on the keyboard also the keyboard also by keyboard violates the consistency of having like the range in an alphabet alphabet alphabetical ordering okay so because we have a b c d e f g and until z right but in our keyboard it's not like that right so having a keys range in an alphabetical way would make it easier for new learners to use the keyboard Right? So let's say like you are a new user to a computer. I believe everyone like uh, the first day, first time you use your machine or your keyboard, you must have like difficulties on typing the using your keyboard because it's all like jumbled up, right? It's not A, B, C, D, E, F, G, like what you have in our mind. Okay, so that is an, an example of how the keyboard design violates this consistency guideline. Got it? Hi. Okay. Mm. So I'll just put it put in here. Alphabetical error. Alphabetical order. Okay. And then the last one. So this one is the arrow of up, down, left, right. Uh, mm, 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 mm. Okay. This one from the article, can you? You got from article. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, so the up, down, left, right arrows of press accordingly with the direction. Which one? Refers to two one. Oh, uh, the left. Uh, two. Two one. So you, you did here, let uh, Two one. Uh, According to figure one, a big figure two, lah, right? Is it? Do you uh, edit that, this one? However, this is convenient for the user because the keys are cut from each other. Okay. okay. So um, this part is the the part that violates the guideline consistency. Okay. So this one is take from the the 
article right so i i have another one um the delete button okay delete button so delete button because we don't want to like accidentally delete our uh, our things that we type or anything that we have on screen so delete command it should be different from other button in design right so you know, maybe put it like uh, in the layout also you put it like somewhere else uh, which will help to prevent you just from accidentally deleting files okay so uh, or else maybe you can have the button uh, delete in other color so to differentiate it from other button that is available on our keyboard agree under color means on the screen hmm? under. delete button on keyboard 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 or can be delete button or delete command as well uh on screen also same lah. okay so okay. this one yeah the command or delete button command not really command delete but eh not delete. what i want to say it is just now forget already shut the moon was i delete that's what i did yeah uh, delete button lah. Delete, delete button on your screen or your on your keyboard uh, also delete command if you have any on your system okay got it okay okay so i think that's all for today thank you so much for your um participation in the tutorial i appreciate everyone's uh, participation um Vera, lagi belum hantar surat. Vera? Ah, yes, I do it now. Okay, so you email to me, yeah? So thank you so much, everyone, once again, and I'll see you again next week for our next class. Thank you. Bye. Thanks. Okay, miss, thank you. Okay.